Hello dear friends. I hope you and family are doing well. Let me welcome you to the exciting world of animals. Will you remember subscribing, please? The Eclectus parrot is a parrot native to the Solomon Islands, Sumba, New Guinea and nearby islands, northeastern Australia, and the Molucco Islands. It is unusual in the parrot family for its extreme sexual dimorphism of the colors of the plumage, the male having a mostly bright emerald green plumage, and the female a mostly bright red and purple slash blue plumage. Some populations restricted to relatively small islands are comparably rare. Their bright feathers are also used by native tribes people in New Guinea as decorations. The Eclectus parrot is unusual in the parrot family for its marked visible light sexual dimorphism in the colors of the plumage. A stocky short-tailed parrot, it measures around 35 centimeters in length. The male is mostly bright green with a yellow tinge on the head. It has blue primaries and red flanks and underwing coverts. Its tail is edged with a narrow band of creamy yellow and is dark gray edged with creamy yellow underneath and the tail feathers are green centrally and bluer as they get towards the edges. The Grand Eclectus female is mostly bright red with a darker hue on the back and wings. The mantle and underwing coverts darken to a more purple in color, and the wing is edged with a mauve blue. The tail is edged with yellowish orange above, and is more orange tipped with yellow underneath. The upper mandible of the adult male is orange at the base fading to a yellow towards the tip, and the lower mandible is black. The beak of the adult female is all black. Adults have yellow to orange irises, and juveniles have dark brown to black irises. The upper mandible of both male and female juveniles are brown at the base fading to yellow towards the biting edges and the tip. The diet of the eclectus in the wild consists of mainly fruits, wild figs, unripe nuts, flower and leaf buds, and some seeds. In captivity, they eat most fruits including mangoes, figs, guavas, bananas, melons, stone fruits, grapes, citrus fruits, pears, apples, pomegranate, and papaya. The eclectus has an unusually long digestive tract, so tolerates a high-fiber diet. In its natural habitat, the eclectus nests within hollows in large, emergent rainforest trees. Suitable hollows are at a premium, and the hen vigorously defends her chosen nesting site from other females, remaining resident at her tree for up to 11 months of the year, rarely straying from the entrance to her hollow, and relying on multiple males to feed her via regurgitation. Males may travel up to 20 kilometers to forage, and up to five males will regularly provide food for each female, each competing with the others for her affections and the right to father her young. Unlike other parrot species, Eclectus parrots are polygenandrous, Females may mate with multiple male suitors and males may travel from nesting site to nesting site to mate with multiple females. This unique breeding strategy may explain the pronounced sexual dimorphism of the eclectus, as the female must remain conspicuous at the entry to the nest hole, but well hidden when in the depths of the nest, because the red color hides her well in the darkness. The male is primarily a brilliant green color, which offers camouflage amongst the trees whilst foraging. However, the plumage of both sexes appears spectacular when viewed in the ultraviolet spectrum, an ability which predators such as hawks and owls lack. Two white eggs are laid, which are incubated for 28 to 30 days. Young fledge at about 11 weeks. Although Eclectus parrots may reach sexual maturity earlier or later, they usually reach it between two to three years. Eclectus hens have a strong maternal instinct, which is displayed in captivity, where they constantly seek possible nesting places, climbing into cupboards, drawers, and spaces beneath furniture, and becoming very possessive and defensive of these locations. An unpaired hen may go on to lay infertile eggs with little encouragement in the spring. It is often possible to place abandoned eggs from other parrot species beneath a broody Eclectus hen, which she will readily accept, and then incubate to the point of hatching even rearing the hatched chick up to the point it is removed from the nest. That was a cool journey. Thank you for your interest in wildlife. See you pretty soon. Take care and be safe.